All right, so what we're going to do today is in Unreal Engine, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to change that default mannequin skeleton into something cool just from the uh, marketplace in Unreal Engine. So as you can see here, we've got this pretty sweet looking guy. And uh, so what we can do is we can actually, after we get this done, is you can change this into all of the infinity warriors and change each and every one of them and start using the game and just start looking like you know what you're doing on Unreal Engine. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do this straight from the default project, um, third person default project. And yeah, we'll get started on get started on this right away. And all of my keystrokes and everything you should see in the bottom right hand corner there. And then once you've got your character changed, boom. As you can see here, there you go. Lots of fun, lots of good stuff, eh? So it's pretty cool and it gets you started. And then once you're able to change this mannequin default skeleton, you can start to look like you know what you're doing, eh? So it's, it's pretty sweet. So let's get started on looking like we know what we're doing, which is partly what I'm doing. So what you do have from the Epic Games launcher is you do have to have the Unreal Engine installed first. And if you don't have that, well, you know, it's going to take you a bit of time. But let's just go ahead and we're going to launch the default one here, 4.25. And we're just going to create a default from the games. And if you have an older version of Unreal Engine, that should be okay too. Um, should default take you into this selection. I think the older versions took you into just this selection originally. So we're just going third person. We're going to hit next. And I'm just going to delete this after so it doesn't matter. Whatever you call it. Let's just call it version 1 dash uh, 0. And it does have to start with a alphanumeric character. And I know you guys are wishing I was back on the screen, so. There I am. Just enjoy. Okay, back to work. So what we need now is the Infinity Warrior characters. So back to the Epic Games launcher. Now that we have the project that we're going to add them to, we go to the Marketplace. And then we're just going to do a search here. Uh, the, yeah. Sometimes you got to type slow on this for it to work, which kind of isn't a problem for me, I suppose. Just type infinity. You don't have to type warriors. It'll come right up. And, oops, not that one. Oh my gosh, where is it? Okay. So infinity blade warriors. It's not too big of a file. Um, if you don't have it downloaded yet, just um, it's like 300 megabytes or something like that. And then you're going to add it to the project that you've just created. So we're going down. We're looking for version one. Doesn't matter what you call it. Call whatever you want. Call it uh, call it cheese pops for all I care. And yeah, I am hoping that this kind of tutorial is it would be good for like possibly education use as well just kind of not go too fast it might be going too slow actually for most people but i find that a lot of tutorials on youtube are just going so fast that you got to pause it constantly and you're constantly trying to look at the screen so that's why i wanted to have these huge icon cursors and mouse and um, everything that i click just dismiss that. I don't know why that's taking so long. Anyways, so after you've um, added that to your project from the Epic Games Launcher, you're going to see a folder here called the Infinity Blade Warrior. So we're going to click on that just for fun. Go Characters, and then Complete Characters. And these are going to be the guys that we're going to have some fun with here. The, the uh, gals and guys. So a little quick tip here, if you hold the control button on your keyboard while you're using the scroll wheel, that will enlarge the icon so that you can see them better. 
and that's just really handy. You'll definitely be using that a lot if you get into Unreal Engine. So we got a whole cast of crew and characters here, lots of fun guys. So what we got to do is we'll just click on any of them because all of these characters actually go off of the same skeleton structure. So we just have to make it so that the engine, um, so that the other skeletons can read each other and the default mannequin that's already built into the level can be able to read it as well. So we go here and uh, I think it's over here. So you click on skeleton there. And then once you're in there, this should come up. If it doesn't, you just got to go retarget uh, manager. And this stuff's going to come up here. And this is where it gets a little technical. But it's what you, it's what you, um, it's what you need to figure out, eh? So we've got our character here. And it, it might change to this guy because this guy is likely coded to be the default skeleton for everybody so I my best theory on why it goes to this guy and it doesn't matter so we've got this guy here you don't have to click on it I don't think so we go select rig that's super important and you want to select humanoid rig and you'll see a thing here called show advanced click on that and then we got to go auto map, and that's going to help. It's just going to help. I'm going to. I was going to pretend like I knew what I was talking about. Just, just click it. It helps the skeleton be able to translate it, I suppose. And then we go up here, and we're going to go add new. So this is just helping the program to be able to understand what's happening. So we go add new, and then also control, click on here. And we're going to choose the skeleton. So we've got that. And then just pretty much every every time you do anything on Unreal Engine, you got to save. It's just the way you should go, is eh? And we'll just click out of that. And we're just going to do the same thing to the default on this guy here. So, oh no, I'm gone. So we'll just go back and we'll go content up at the beginning. And we're going to go default mannequin, which is this guy. We're getting to him. And then you want to go animations. So it's third part, uh, third person. That's kind of the heart and soul of where everything lives for the default character. In a way. So you got all these guys up here. We're going to go back, uh, click on skeleton again. And it's pretty much the same process here. Yeah, what we're going to do. So just go show advanced and auto map and then go add new. And it just pops up there by, by default. And then saver, blazer. And uh, now we're getting near the end here. I shouldn't say that, but we are. So now the tricky part, you got to right click on this guy here and you got to go retarget animation blueprints. So that's going to help us uh, create a connection to the auto mapping that we've done on the Infinity Warrior characters. So duplicate animation blueprints. And you'll see there's the default guy. And uh, what we want to do is, all right, a little bit of a fumble there. So what we want to do is go back into your content browser, go content, and then you want to go to your default mannequin, just the mannequin, and then go character, Go mesh, and you're going to go to this default guy right here. And just double click on the guy. And go back up into skeleton. And this same thing here. So make sure you select 
humanoid rig. Is that what that said? Yep. And show advance, and then auto map, and then go auto new. Let's select this guy here. Because um, I think what might have happened before, I might do, I'll probably do another one of these tutorials, eh? So we're at 10 minutes here now. Um, so yeah, you just have to make sure you go into the mannequin and then character and then mesh and then do this. And then of course, always save. So now we are ready to rock and roll. So we'll go back to the mannequin. We're going to go to animations and this is all leading into getting to this, getting for, um, this fella here to be able to understand, Hey, who am I? What's going on? What's my purpose? So that's what's happening. So right click on this guy. So third person animation. And this is kind of the heart and soul of the uh, of the uh, animations, I guess you could say. Okay. So right click on that and retarget animation blueprints. This comes up and then so that skeleton that we kind of replicated, I guess you could say, it's right here. We click on that and then we go retarget. So it's going to come in the default part of your project. And just to just to clean that up because that's messy. You don't want to yeah, it's like throwing your pants on the ground when you come home kind of thing. So we're going to go add new and just create a folder there. Just call it characters. We'll just select all of these. Hold down shift. Hopefully you know how to do, you know, just general windows things. <laughs> I've also, I've ordered a mouse that's silent, so that's going to be pretty cool. So we'll go into here. And now what you want to do is you want to actually rename the main blueprint because that way you can differentiate who it is so and just double click or click on it or hit f2 on your keyboard is probably the best way to go about and um, what's this guy's name i don't know we'll just call him version one just so we can figure it out change the name on that guy and now we're ready to rock for real this time so you've got your main character here and you'll see that when you play with them now, you know, it's default guy. It's pretty cool. But now he's going to be even more awesome. So we click on him, we go edit third person. And this is what it's all about here. And we're going to go viewport here. That's pretty integral. And then you got to click on him. And now we're going to change the mesh. Holding that control and scroll mouse there, scroll wheel. And uh, we'll select whoever. And you'll see that it does not look like it's animating. It's like, hey, what, what is this? You lied to me, man. Um, so what we'll do is we've got the animation blueprint. So that's going to tell the character what do you need to do to figure this out. And we called that version 1 just now. So I see it down there. I'll just type it in and make it easier on everybody here. And click on that. Look at that. It is alive. So another quick little tip here. You see how quick that uh, camera movement is. So when you're holding right click, um, you press the ASD and the W and the Q and the E, and that moves your camera around. I find that by default up here is where the setting is. I find it's a little fast. So two, I think is pretty good. Um, and there we go. So we got this real evil looking dude here. We'll just uh, hit compile and save. That's kind of the default thing to do in life. Oops. And there he is. And let's see if this works. Look at that. Looking good. So, uh, there you go. He'll do all this. All the stuff the default guy did, except for it just looks more awesome. 
and you can start just playing around. And then once you get this, once you start putting in skeletons or just going into the marketplace and adding uh, rigged characters into your characters, it just starts to, uh, this is more cool, right? I don't know. So, and then just to quickly, I just hit F11 to do that full screen thing. Um, so let's go back to the third person character and we'll just edit again and we'll just change it up again. Go back there, click on him and uh, just choose another guy. Look at that. And then you can save your project. Oops. I might get uh, this fella here. Compile, save, close that down. And there you go. So have some fun with that and fun rocking, everybody.